Since this COVID-19 crisis took hold, universal credit has been topped up by £20 a week. Unite negotiated that and wants people on legacy benefits to get this too. This £20 doesn't even amount to £3 a day, but the increase has made all the difference to struggling families. For many, it's paid for broadband so children can learn while stuck at home and their parents are able to apply for jobs online. Now Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak want to take it away. It could disappear by the end of April. This will plunge people up and down the country into poverty and Unite is working hard to stop them. Most people claiming universal credit are in work. Disgracefully, work doesn't pay in this country. And this has got to be fixed. And Unite will always demand decent wages that allow people to live in dignity. But until that happens, don't punish those that are trying their hardest to get by. Don't make them choose again between eating and heating. The UK is the fifth richest country in the world. Pushing people into poverty is a political choice. Boris Johnson, just do the right thing. Keeping the heating on and keeping families fed and keep the £20 increase for universal credit claimants and extend it to people on legacy benefits too.